Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I want to share with you a letter that I got from Germany together with two cards and something really special that's in here. And um, that's connected to some of the stuff that you see more in the back of the picture. So let's start with the letter. So this was a letter from Germany. And um, let me just do this properly. There we go. And it reads, Hey Timmy, I hope you are doing fine and are coping well with the freaking pandemic. As there is a silver sheen on the horizon and more and more people are getting vaccinated, I cannot wait to finally play real magic again. Now this letter comes from Martin from the Rhineland Avengers. And I actually played Martin uh, earlier at the Urborg Plains Village in 2020, the last real life tournament that I visited in Dusseldorf. Um, I have recently come up with an idea that I found intriguing and have included the results in the envelope. I hope you like it. I also added the latest adventure alters that I made to some OS cards. I hope you have fun with the contents of this letter and maybe see you soon in Dusseldorf in September. So we have a new tournament coming up in Dusseldorf. So definitely, man, if it's possible, I'll definitely be there. Take care and stay awesome. Cheers, Martin. Well, Martin, you know, I mean, this is one of the reasons that I, I really love the community so much is that just the generosity, you know, we're sending each other all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, we're just enjoying ourselves, which is really sweet. Um, so let's start with the two cards. So the first one up is the Stor Vauki. And I believe this is an Italian version. You can see that it's it's the colors are richer than the Legends version. And uh, let's see, it's got a nice little flavor text that's adjusted the altar. Yeah, you settler run, Hawkeye. And of course, Hawkeye is one of the Avengers. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty well done, pretty sweet. And then we have another nice altar, which is this Sorcerer's Queen. Originally a card from uh, fourth edition, two black and one to cast for one one. And as you probably know, you can tap it to make target creature O2, but instead we see some lovely flavor text here. While I live and until I die, I will be an adventurer. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. So this is the altar of Scarlet Witch. Sorcerer's Queen becomes Scarlet Witch. Pretty nice, right? I think it's pretty cool. So um, now, I mean, Martin, I hate to ask it to you, but now I want to collect all the Avengers, to be honest. I mean, you sent me the blue one. I also have the white one. Um, now I have the black one and I've got this one. And yeah, I, I, I'd love to have more. So I'm going to put them here. And this is actually why I wanted to share this video with you. Of course, I love the altars. Fantastic letter. But in this letter, you talked about I've been messing around. I've been trying to do something. And I want to show it to you. Here you go. And these are actually the robot arms. That's why we see a trike here. These are the robot arms of the trike. So these are counters that I can place on my trike. And um, yeah, just let me show it to you because it's not just paper. It, it, it might look a little bit like paper on camera, but it's actually uh, quite thick. So see the camera has some issues really zooming in. Let's kind of do this and it's, I think, easier. Yeah, here, here we go, here we go. So. It's kind of like this and we can, it's a little bit thick as you can see. And it's also has some kind of, here the background is actually a magic card. So it's pretty thick, it's thicker card. And it also has, when you feel it, it, it feels kind of as if there's some kind of finishing over it. So I, I wondered, and I actually asked uh, Martin like, okay, Martin, can you tell me how did you make this? And is this really for a try? Cause I kind of already figured that out, but I just wanted to be sure. So. Of course, he sent me back a message and he told me, uh, let's have a look here. He said, what I did, and I'm just going to read it here. He's, he, he wrote to me, I drew the extended arm from the trike with Posca pens, scanned the drawing and printed it on normal paper. Then I roughly cut it out with scissors and glued it on some crappy new magic card. After letting the glue dry, I used a scalpel to cut it out nicely. So, wow. Okay. But that's not even the whole process. So it, it continues. Now I used some strange low melting uh, point plastic powder that my wife uses for her paper crafting to plastinate the token. So that's actually what I'm feeling here is that 
the plastinate that he used. Um, I covered the tokens in a special very light glue, covered them with powder and then used a heat gun to melt the powder. Now this should be pup proof. If you need more, let me know. <laughs> Just... Oh man, Martin, man, you're a legend. You're a legend. Absolutely, absolutely a legend. Uh, so this is one. I don't, like the camera really gets it now, so I don't want to move it. Let's just put them here on my fingers and we can look at them properly. So these are the three. And like I said, they're kind of thick. They feel kind of sturdy. Um, I can also kind of show you a picture of the process that he sent me. So I'll, I'll put it here next to the token so that you can have a look. And uh, yeah, I mean, isn't that cool? Let me know in the comments below what you think of these. And um, yeah, what do you use for counters on your Triskelion? I know there are more people that have made counters. Uh, some people even made like plastic or kind of iron little arms. I've seen that as well. Um, so we'd love to hear from you. Let me know. And um, do you like this kind of stuff? Like I'm crazy for it. And I think a lot of people in old school really kind of love making this these custom made things. I think now in modern magic, you know, they give you tokens and um, they, they do everything for you. And that kind of cuts out the fantasy part and, and the tinkering part and kind of trying to figure things out yourself. That's one of the things I, I always liked when I started playing this game when I was 11, 12, was kind of to, to figure stuff out yourself and kind of decide what you want to use for tokens and what you want to use for counters and all that stuff. You know, that's just, that's just interesting. Anyway, thank you very, very much, Martin. I'm really happy with these. And what I'm going to do, uh, of course, I'm going to send you something back here. And one of the things I'm going to send, let me have a look. I have brand new... Timmy stickers, look at these. And I'm, oh, come on camera, work with me here. Oh, uh, here we go. And I'm gonna send them to you. So uh, yeah, if you want to, you can stick it on your binder or just say, you know, thank you, think, oh, ugly and throw it out. That's all good, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna send a couple uh, a couple your way also to give to your friends of the Rhineland Adventures. Hopefully I'll see you again in September. Uh, and I would also like to thank you for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk. Ooh! school magic now if you like to have a sticker like this or even a pin or whatever um, you can join the Timmy talks on patreon and you can help me grow the channel and keep the channel alive it already starts with one dollar a month so if that's something that you find interesting click on the info card that's appearing right now and one of the other benefits about joining Timmy talks on patreon is that I'll put your name on the end scroll how cool is that right um, talking about that, let's go to the end scroll. Let's take a look at the fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Ich kann das Finger zu Sumba gesehen.